It's been dubbed an air apocalypse day here in Beijing and now I have my uh, air quality reader and many households here have one. And right now it's reading 400, give or take. Now to give some perspective, according to the World Health Organization, safe levels are 25. So that number really is quite hazardous. Now, if you think that's bad, some cities in northern China were reading levels of over 700. And it's because these cities have many factories, many heavy industries, and these are actually blamed for the air pollution we see today. There is an increase in the energy demand in northern China at the moment because of winter. And we have red alert levels, which sees many of these factories really needing to close or uh, halt operations or reduce operations. And 700 today have been shut down. Now, hospitals are seeing, unsurprisingly, an increase in patients reporting asthma symptoms and uh, I have my own mask here today and I'll put this one uh, back on right after this uh, but not only is the smog potentially harmful for health it's also very disruptive to travel here in China um, in northern uh, China here in Beijing planes cannot land simply because they just cannot see clearly enough now in a few days the wind will return and we will thankfully see some blue skies back here in Beijing but according to organizations such as Greenpeace unless China has stricter caps on coal consumption and relies less on heavy industry severe bouts of smog just like this will continue to occur